Hello, everyone. I'm Vincenzo Cala, and welcome to Meet the PMs, Episode 4. Today, we will be meeting Canada's fourth Prime Minister, Sir John Thompson. Sir John Thompson was born in Halifax, Nova Scotia, on November 10, 1845. He was a lawyer before entering politics. He first started getting involved in politics in 1871 when he was an alderman in Halifax. Sir John Thompson became Prime Minister on December 5, 1892, and served until December 12, 1894. He represented the riding of Antigonish. He was a member of the Liberal Conservative Party. Sir John Thompson died in England at Windsor Castle on December 12, 1894. And with that, he served as Prime Minister until he died. Sir John Thompson had accomplishments and he had failures. But as you're going to probably recognize, through my research, Sir John Thompson is more of the... Uh, more of a not scot free prime minister, but he did a lot of good and all uh, well compared to the bad, and I'll go over that soon. So, his biggest accomplishment was the Canadian Criminal Code of 1892. He played a role in that. His biggest failure was the relations with Manitoba over their founding documents, how they fit into the British North America Act, and also um, the Manitoba. Uh, the Manitoba schools issue, and uh, really just some uh, some document issues as Manitoba was trying to enter Canada. And this did lead to some confusion and troubles for the federal government. His second biggest accomplishment was holding the government up when troubles arose, such as the execution of Louis Riel. And there were some other things that he just, he supported the government when during his time as a cabinet minister under uh, under Sir Johnny Macdonald and as prime minister he held a pretty tight ship and he held a good show really because that's what politics is so his second biggest failure was being scared of full independence independence as a nation he was afraid of being scooped into the U.S. because uh, obviously growing nation Canada the U.S was already well established and he was scared of being melted into the US and he didn't want full independence for Canada without a population of 50 million people which in 2022 we still have not achieved 50 million people we are still about a good 10 million people away at least from reaching that 50 million number so 130 years later under Sir John Thompson we still wouldn't be an independent nation fully independent his third biggest accomplishment was the role he played in a fishing treaty between Britain and the U.S. He helped uh, with the negotiations on that, really helped with that treaty in between Canada, uh, in between Britain and the U.S. His third biggest failure was not being able to fully deal with the ongoing disputes between the Catholics and the Protestants when it came to a number of issues, which uh, when it came to Quebec and the further establishment, it wasn't as bad as in England, but... Uh, really Canada was a new country with more ideas coming out and he didn't fully deal with that. Today Sir John Thompson is remembered as a good prime minister who died too early. That's really how he's remembered. He's especially remembered because of his dedication to public service and his hard work. There's a mountain named after him in British Columbia in the Caribou Mountains. There's also a school named in Edmonton named after him. Sir John Thompson's also remembered in a negative light, uh, light for some smaller mishaps, but really he's better known for the positives. And as I mentioned, as I did my research, it really was hard to find some really bad things on him. Those other things were some just smaller, uh, again, like I said before, mishaps. So final recap of Sir John Thompson. He served from 1892 to 1894. He was a great prime minister and a great public servant. In the future, Sir John Thompson will probably be remembered as someone who had a handle on the issues facing his nation. 
So that is all for today's episode. I hope you enjoyed learning about Sir John Thompson. You can check out some more videos about all the Canadian Prime Ministers on this channel. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, click the subscribe button, and make sure to click the notification bell so you never miss a video. Make sure to also check out my website at VincenzoCala.com and follow VC Productions 25 on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. So until the next video, I'm Vincenzo Cala, signing out. Meet the PMs is a Vital production.